The super slick video that Kensington Palace released on Monday, which provides an update on Kate's health, has divided opinions. Some friends of the monarchy are critical. One told me it's no coincidence that the Middletons appear in it and not the king and queen. I can assure you that Charles and Camilla will not be filmed kissing on a beach until hell freezes over its distinctly unreal. Another source I spoke to was even more scathing. All that lounging around, hugging and kissing they are not teenagers, it felt manipulative, the sort of thing Meghan would make. Of course, they drag Meghan into this as usual. The effort and expense put into making this video could have been spent elsewhere. Why not visit women being treated for cancer instead? That's what Diana would have done. Sorry, I'm just speechless at what's happening. Lee Thompson, who was appointed as a PR chief in 2022, is said to be in charge of boosting the couple's social media profile. His appointment came after the couple faced criticism for what was described as a tone-deaf tour of the West Indies in March 2022. Kensington Palace going down, this Hollywood-style video route has made people uneasy. William and Catherine are vulnerable to PR teams that want them to be slick celebrities, but that's not what the royal family is about. It's important to make that distinction, though I personally think the latest video is very sweet. Still, I stand by those comments. Now, William and Catherine seem hungry for engagement. I'm shocked that all these palace insiders are turning against them. The press is clearly fighting them, and I don't understand why. I'm really confused. Another person said, if William and Kate keep feeding us this curated narrative about their lives, disaster will likely follow. Again, I don't get what's happening. I'm truly confused. There's also been talk about the place where they filmed being a nudist beach. All this is coming from camps that support Kate and William. Something has set this off, and now there is a wave of criticism against Kate more than William, which I find interesting. I just don't know where this is coming from. It's truly bizarre to me. They've brought in palace insiders, the king, and the queen, none of them would be doing this. William is angry because he got dragged into this. I really feel that William was convinced to do this video, even though it's not the kind of thing he usually does. I feel like he was pressured into it by Kate and the PR team, and now, after all this backlash, they are in a worse position than they were before. Them showing how strong their relationship is seems to have upset people even more. I can barely think straight right now I just landed from Cairo a few hours ago. It's a five-hour flight from London, and I was only there for two days, then back here, and I'm off again tomorrow. It wasn't a vacation I was working. I'm completely exhausted. But with so much going on, I can't sit back and do nothing even when I'm busy because I want to keep bringing content to you guys. I really appreciate the conversations we have and I enjoy reading your comments, whether you agree or disagree. That's why I'm so intrigued. So please do subscribe, comment below and give this video a thumbs up. It seems like the tide is turning against Kate Middleton. It's lingering, but for now, we're hearing from Palace Insiders, and even Richard Eden is involved. Why are they losing key supporters from their camp? I don't understand it. Usually they praise Kate and criticize Meghan for the same things. So why are they now going against Kate? Is something big about to happen? A divorce announcement? Cheating scandal? I don't know. Richard Eden, another one bites the dust. Guys, let me know your thoughts, subscribe, and feel free to send a super thanks if you'd like. You can click the sign below to send whatever you want.